All right. Well, um, obviously, very, very pr proud of the players. You know, it's been two hard weeks, um, and really, really proud of the way that they've uh, stood together. Go on, sweetheart. Uh, really, really, really proud of the way that uh, you know, the team stood together, and I think that we've gotten better each week. And um, uh, wasn't certainly wasn't perfect tonight, but um, there were some uh, a lot of really good things. And um, thought they played like a team, which was really important to me. That first turnover um, down in the red zone, defense going out there and getting the stop, holding holding them to a field goal. That's really the culture we want to have. And um, uh, having 96 yards rushing in the fourth quarter, that's the culture we want to have. We're putting games away in the, with the run game. So um, a lot of things obviously in between. Had a couple guys go down with injuries. Ramir went down and Cam went down. Um, Gabe went down at the end. So hopefully they'll all be OK. Um, but um, a lot of credit to Northern Illinois. I was watching that Florida State-BC game today, seeing BC almost beat Florida State. After seeing these guys beat BC, uh, knew it would be a battle. And I thought our guys hung in there and did a good job. What did you know that Heinrich was going to be the guy and just how proud were you of his effort stepping in and what he did tonight? Yeah, I think um, um, you know, he practiced well on Tuesday and then uh, practiced well on Wednesday. Um, you know, Jeff really worked his tail off to come back and be ready to go and thought showed an unbelievable team by, you know, being willing to practice on Friday and was willing to go out there and be the third team, you know, quarterback, emergency quarterback. But I just think after we got, kind of got done with Wednesday, uh, we knew that uh, it would be Heinrich uh, just because he was practicing pretty well. And then we got in the game and Northern Illinois completely changed. You know, they, 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 they did some things just for Heinrich. I mean, they ran up the field. And so they really tried to take away the zone read game for us. They really tried to take away the uh, counter game. Some of the things that we're, you know, we're pretty good at, they took away. So um, I thought Sat and Donnie made some really good adjustments on the sidelines and um, found some formations that were good for us. And we were able to run the ball at the end. How cool was that sequence where I think you started the drive on the eight when it was seven to three, and uh, you get it at the midfield and then the stop, and you, know, you, you took advantage of that short field. You flipped the field and, and made it fourteen to three. Yeah. yeah, you know we played a lot in the first half on our side of the field, you know, and that was, um, you know, they, they, their punter I thought did a great job, you know, and um, you know Ed Ed brought a punt rush the one time we didn't get there, but we got some, you know, and so then the next one you know down there backed up, which led to points. I thought that was a pivotal drive, and I thought the 90-yard scoring drive, obviously, you know, to take it 90 yards and just kind of be ball control, um, those were two good drives for us that were pivotal in the game. When you have the defense that you do, how much confidence and comfort does that give you that you can put them out there in so many situations and maybe give your young quarterback time to, to find his sea legs out there? Yeah, I mean... I challenge the defense. Like, think of themselves. Think of think of this as a defensive team. You know, when you play defense, people will often say it was an ugly game because everyone really just wants to see offense. But I mean, they're fun to watch. Uh, they're fun to be around, and uh, they played to the very end. You know, unfortunately, you know, and credit to them. They did. They did just what you know. I know people. Were, they did just what we did last week. They played to the end. You know, Thomas, Thomas Hammock wants to go win the MAC, and he's got his team ready. So I, I thought that was great by them. But. Um, yeah, I think for us it allows you to say, hey, we can, you know, we can even if we go three and out here, we can trust our defense. You know, we, we just wanted to protect the ball tonight, and um, after that early turnover, I thought we did, and, and just let the runs accumulate, let the field position tilt. But you know, we had some aggressive passes. You know, what I mean, we we hit the, uh, you know, we hit the uh, the first play of the game, you know, we, or second play of the game, whatever it was, we hit. Um, uh, Marcus, you know, I thought that really loosened things up early. You know, we hit Fedoni down in the end zone on the pop, you know, on the pass. So um, we, we we let we let uh, Heinrich spin it a little bit more than maybe we, we thought we would. But again, they were kind of doing some things to take away some runs. So, but the defense gives us a lot of confidence to play that way. So, what did you think of Heinrich's performance overall? So sorry. What did you think of Heinrich's performance overall? That leading rusher didn't make many mistakes out there. Yeah, I mean, I think. Um, I think he did what he was called upon to do. You know, like like the rest of the team, there's a lot of things to improve. There were some throws, you know, some throws where, in third down, you know, I think one of the key, you know, at one point we were one for seven on third down, right? So that was one of the big things that was holding us back. And I thought, you know, we settled down and got some third downs um, later in the drive. Um, his ability to, you know, run the quarterback draw, won the quarterback options. You know, we started the game off with an option. I thought, you know, that wasn't done for anything other than just we wanted to get Heinrich going, and. Um, um, that that slows down people's blitz packages, but there were some pivotal plays. Like there was little, I don't know if it was Ramirez or who it was. You know, they they brought Max Blitz and we checked into a like a quick little tailback screen. And early on in the first half, we, we beat the blitz, and then second half we hit Gabe. You know, Gabe stepped in. All those are Ramirez jobs, and Gabe stepped in. So I thought Heinrich did some really high level things. We'll just keep working with him. 
Coach, you uh, rushed for 96 yards in the fourth quarter. That's kind of the goal that you talked about in the offseason. Just what was it like to see the team perform and do that in the fourth quarter? Yeah, you know, we always talk about fourth quarter shutout and 75 yards rushing in the fourth quarter. That's the formula to win. Um, it was awesome to see Javen, I think that was Javen, right, jump up and intercept that ball. Um, unfortunately, you know, I, I really respect their, their quarterback. And, I, you know, principles, you know, we talk about going and blocking the quarterback. So, you know, we just have to block him with just your hands. Prince, I don't think, was trying to be disrespectful to him. I really respect uh, Lombardi. But, um, you know, that's kind of how we want to play at the end, right? Put some pressure on the other team, especially, you know, I've never coached in an environment like that. Um, with the crowd like that on our side. And, um, you know, that really affected the game, I thought, too. So, but, yeah, get, getting those rushes, finding some things. You know, we found they sort of the outside zone that was a good a good matchup for us. And uh, the backs, you know, backs made the runs when they had to. And how about the team? You still feel open getting one under your belt, a, a win. So thank you. Under that, your belt. I'm so sorry. How do, you, how do you feel about getting a win under your belt? Yeah, you know, um, I know for a lot of the fans, and for a lot of people that care deeply about this program, this game was probably about having some hope that things are moving in the right direction for the players. And I appreciate them. Let me just say that. Like, I got on that bus today. We walked out to that bus, and I've, I've never experienced anything like that, you know. Um, I've, you know, we got booed the first play of the game on offense. I've experienced that before in Philadelphia. <laughs> but I've never experienced the crowd and all those things. And that was great. You know, I thought it was awesome. And I thought the crowd played a huge role today. And seeing all the kids at the tunnel walk and all those things, like, you know, it's like it's like before the game, Giff walked up to me and he said, "You know what, Coach? No matter what, this will never get old." And I said, I, "You know." So um, I thought that that was great, um, but I think the biggest thing. So as much as it would probably hope for a lot of people that this is working and that we're moving in the right direction, for me, this was about belief. Um, you know what? I, I believe that what we're doing is working. I believe we're doing it the right right way. I believe that we could overcome, you know, the the, the first two games and being close but not close enough in the first one. So I thought the players showed a lot of belief, and they showed a lot of belief in each other. And um, that's, in today's day and age, sometimes that can be hard, but we have special players, and I was glad they got the win the way they got it. I mean, that's gonna how we're going to play, and uh, at least for right now. And, um, you know, on offense, I think the biggest thing that happened was they started to bring the plays to life, right? We were just executing, like, you know, Marcus makes a play. Um, uh, you know, the backs make some plays. Bullock makes a play. Fedoni makes a play. That, that, the play Fedoni made on the sideline, that's, that's who Thomas is. And so... Um, you know, we just got to keep, keep, keep going and keep driving that. That start, uh, I know you focus more on how you finish and how you start, but with a new quarterback, um, what did that do for the confidence of the team? I think, I think we needed that. You know, I mean, again, I'm not a big start fast guy because you're sitting there seven three, and then you're seven nothing. All of a sudden, you fumble the next drive, and it's like, all right, what's next? But I think our team probably needed a little juice like that, and our team needed that, and then. I was proud that, you know, there was kind of some lulls after that, and then we sort of found, you know, because, you know, we're just kind of growing up together. You know, when you have, a, you know, it's, it's not like we're a team that can't run the ball so we run the quarterback. Like, we're an option zone option team. Like, we're going to do that. Like, it's part of our offense. So I don't care who the leading rusher is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to run all those guys. And um, I thought, you know, those guys learning that people are going to play it differently every week, and you just have to keep find, probing until you find the right thing, like, Finding the four wide zone read, you know, we had a couple where if he pulled it, it would have been a touchdown. He finally pulled it, and we were out. So, um, I was proud of uh, proud of all that. What are your thoughts on Nash's performance tonight, especially in the first half? You know, I'll be honest with you, I can't sit here and tell you like who played great on defense because it felt like they all did. Um, I thought we had great interior pressure inside. I thought like you know, like a couple times we were close to getting a sack, and we just gotta we just gotta keep working those guys getting their hands off, but. I mean, we're playing so many guys on defense. I mean, I, I mean, we're just rolling guys in on defense, and everyone's kind of playing to a standard. And, you know, honestly, like when you're – I don't know how many plays we play on defense tonight. Um, I'm sorry. When you play 58 plays and you're rotating guys, there's probably some guys that are starters that play, you know, or starter caliber that only played probably 15, 18, 20 snaps. So um, – but that's, you know, we, we had a good night. So, but I thought, you know, Nash is one of the stalwarts on our team, and he and Ty really set the tone inside. Did you anticipate the defense being uh, this on point in terms of its execution? They seem to know where things, where things are going before the snap. They get there, the hustle, all that. Did you anticipate it being this good? Um, I think if you look, think back to me talking in, in preseason, I was always pretty confident about, you know, cause people would ask me about the D-line, and I said, I think we're going to be okay. And I was always pretty confident. But, you know, those guys have played a lot of football. 
you know, I mean, Mike Dawson's a I've known Dawson a long time. He's a heck of a football coach. Tenander's, actually Barrett Rude, those guys are really good football coaches. So they played for really good coaches. And they know football and they played a lot of football. So now you got Luke Reimer out there. You know, he knew one scheme and now he just kind of changes it. And they went through that change with Bill Bush, an unbelievable football coach. They played for some great coaches. And now they're coming in. It's a different scheme, but like tackling's tackling, running the ball's running to the ball. Um, you know, this isn't me as a. I told our team this, and I think our team agrees. We have excellent players on the trade teams and the scout teams. We, we got you know, Demetrius Bell and Quentin Knives. These guys are going to be unbelievable Huskers someday. You know, so I think we we practice really competitively. But you know, I, I thought I thought early on that the defense was going to be um, the defense was going to be really tough to deal with. But you know, we haven't even hit the. You know, we had one Big Ten game. There's a lot more to be seen. We got to get better this week. Sure, but you know, all things considered, Jeff Sims. I know the fans want to know. Jeff Sims, if he's fully healthy next week, do you, do you open this up as a competition, or is Jeff Sims still your guy? Yeah, I think both quarter. We figured out that both quarterbacks are good quarterbacks. I mean, the, the the situation that Jeff went and played in the first two games is was was difficult. Okay, and a lot of things that weren't his fault were pegged on Jeff Sims. So we got a lot of confidence in Jeff. We've done all along the Heinrich can play. We got a good situation. I won't talk any hypotheticals. You know, I don't know who's going to be healthy, who's not, but. Um, I, I, I know we can win with both guys, and you guys know how I feel about Chubba. So I think we have a lot of players. I think the biggest thing for us is, you know, just continuing to find the guys on offense who can make plays for the quarterbacks, you know. So uh, those runs that AG made at the end, Gabe made at the end, you know, we're just going to keep finding guys.